Sean here. This week we're talking about the Aquaman crystal for underwater breathing, iBox Nano 3D printer, Mercedes using Tesla technology, and the new Amazon Echo. Let's get ready to because this is the Technophiles Newscast. Scientists have created a crystal that can hold oxygen. The crystal is nicknamed the Aquaman crystal and a bucket full, about 20 liters, can hold an entire room's worth. By adding some heat, the crystal releases the oxygen that it's stored. The material is far lighter and more compact than traditional breathing tanks and has a wide variety of uses. This could replace bulky oxygen tanks that some hospital patients have to carry around all the time, making patients with conditions like lung cancer far more mobile. As well, this would be highly beneficial to the elderly, lightening their daily load. This could also provide unlimited amounts of oxygen to divers as the crystal can absorb oxygen from water. Getting into 3D printing isn't the easiest thing in the world. It might be the future, but its price tag can be a barrier to those looking to get involved in the process. The iBox Nano is an awesome little 3D printer that makes entry into the 3D printing world just a little bit easier with a $300 price tag. The Nano uses a unique method of cooling resin as opposed to extrusion for its 3D printing technique. The printer has a pool of resin that is cooled layer by layer using UV LEDs. It enables the printer to have a great level of detail without having to necessarily increase costs. Mercedes is utilizing Tesla's patents in order to create an emissions-free van, putting a Tesla motor and battery on the inside. Mercedes isn't quite sure about the future of emissions-free vehicles, saying that investing so much time, energy, and resources into electric cars is a little too risky for their taste. By utilizing a Tesla battery and motor, Mercedes is able to retrofit vehicles rather than investing millions into manufacturing processes. Worried about the lack of competition to their zero emissions vehicles, Tesla opened up their patents several months ago, saying they would not target anyone who sought to use their patents in good faith. This is exactly what Tesla was looking for when they open sourced their patents. Their attempts to bolster the number of zero emissions cars on the road seems to be working, at least in the short run. Good job, Tesla. Amazon is giving me everything that I always dreamed of. No, it's not a lifetime supply of toilet paper. It's called the Echo. A lifetime supply of toilet paper. The Amazon Echo is a device slightly larger than a travel coffee mug and has built-in speakers and a microphone. It also has internet connectivity. The device is basically Siri that sits in your home. Much like some of the other products that we've talked about in the past, it seeks to answer all of your questions, play all of your music, update calendars and to-do lists, and set your alarms. The Echo is currently available by invitation only, costing Prime members $99 and everyone else $100 more at $199. Amazon has been working hard to break into the hardware market rather successfully with their Kindle line and astonishingly poorly with millions of dollars of Fire Phones sitting in warehouses. Amazon, I'll make you a deal. I'll buy a Fire Phone, but instead of unlimited photo uploads, can I get unlimited toilet paper? That is it for the Technophiles newscast. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share. This video was made with the help of these amazing people. As well, you can find us all over the net on Twitter at TechnophilesPod, Facebook, Facebook.com slash TechnophilesPodcast, and on our website, TechnophilesPodcast.com. If you'd like to keep learning about some of the greatest tech in the tech world with us, you can subscribe at YouTube.com slash TechnophilesPodcast, or by searching iTunes Technophiles. That is it. I'll see you guys next time.